Welcome everybody to the next episode of Battle Brothers. Last time, sadly, we had such, a, I thought, an ideal start. But, um, you know, we had those two big cities next to each other and everything. But, um, we didn't make it. We randomly got hit. And uh, I, I think I bit off more than I could chew, I guess. I thought we were more capable than we were. I don't know. The, the battle didn't seem like it was that much, you know, in our opponent's favor. I don't think it was. But somehow we just, you know, didn't get the rolls. Bam. So we've got our random origin out of all these different things. We haven't done many of these. The Oath Takers, the Band of Poachers, Northern Raiders, Anatomists, uh, Gladiators. So let's see what we get here. Random as usual. And uh, the DF-16 squad rides again. Permanent destruction? Sure. That looks like a... It, for some reason, every time I see this, it reminds me of Portugal. It's the Portuguese flag with a boar's head. Um... The DF-16 squad. This one's just way too big. On the battlefield, it's it's massive. It's kind of a cool one. I do that one a lot. I like doing the small ones. I do that one a lot. The light of truth is coming. Boobs. Let's just go with the basic one. Uh, I don't know how many people know this, but this is apparently the most popular banner in the game. It's the one most people default to. Uh, which I've done, of course, many times, so I like to switch it up, but... Okay, so we're gonna start with medium. The only thing that I'm... Normally I would go low, but because we're doing random uh, origin here, we're gonna start with medium. There's the map seed if anybody wants to play along on the same map, and... Let's see what we get. Hopefully a good one. Trading caravan again. We just had the trading caravan. Okay. The corpses are abuzz with flies and heart. Vig stands amidst the swarm like he built the deathly totem which brought their presence. He turns to you. Greenskins did this one. No man can you head it, hew a head in half like that. And no sane man would stack them in such a manner. There's goblin poison on their marrow tips. Walter the chicken nods. Yesterday, we find that merchant... Oh, this is a different guy? Walter and Hartwig, right. Yesterday, we find that merchant... That merchant hanged by brigands. Now this. The roads are getting too dangerous for a wagon carrying shine. Now, I ain't saying my sword hand ain't worth its weight in salt. But with just the two of us on duty, we're throwing dice by the hour. Sir, you should look into hiring more guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hire more guards and then some. No, what we'll be doing is fighting back and then some. I aim to hire cell swords to fit a company of making. And if your sword hands want to earn a steady keep, you two can be the first. Onwards now! We have wares to sell. So, caravan hands. So the caravan hands, uh, you're running a small trading caravan and have most of your crowns invested into trading goods, but the roads have become dangerous. Brigands and greenskins lay in ambush, and there's rumors of even worse things out there. Caravan, you always start with two caravan hands, which is a, great, a good background. There's some random quests that pop up if you have caravan hands and stuff. You get 10% better prices on everything, which is amazing. Uh, buying and selling. So we get more money when we sell and prices are cheaper when we buy. Start with no renown and gain renown at only 66% of the normal rate. So starting at no renown uh, sucks, but getting it at 66% uh, the normal rate, so a third less, yeah, starting at zero, means we're never going to be a professional by day 40 or 50. It's going to be tough, which makes it tough because you can't get jobs with the uh, noble houses as quickly, right? So, all right, one sec. Okay, so, uh, first, we've got Konigsmund, a big harbor city relying on trade and fishing. Seems like an optimal place to, uh, to start. Big cities are great. Of course, we don't know the map. It looks like we're in the south middle, kind of? Yeah, almost in the middle. That's not bad. Uh, and let's take a look at our crew. We've got Hartvig. That's Dugio. We're gonna new use the people, uh, in our channel, some awesome, uh, channel members of mine. And I'll be Walter the Chicken. <laughs> I'll be Damien the streamer. Okay, wow, these guys are not looking very tough. Fortunately, look at all these goods. Bam, lots of trade goods. Yeah, we just had our last run start exactly like this. Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. Two level one jobs, perfect. Uh, we are gonna need some help. We start with 1400 gold. So uh, the prices we're getting now at the market are not the best we can do. This is worth 400 and we're selling for 568, which is very good. But every job I can do before selling this stuff um, will make the price go up, basically, because people will be more eager to trade with me. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up. 
Let's get some gear here. Looks like a lot of uh, gear here as well, which is really nice. Um, okay, let me see here. Okay. What do I want to start with here? I've got... I'm probably going to have to buy... Oof, I would love one of these. I think I'm going to grab that for two hundo. I have 754, so now I need to buy brothers here. I should have probably done the brothers first, but I just want to see how many I can outfit here. So let's go to the, uh, the corner of the Home Depot parking lot here. Hey, guys. Killer on the run. Okay. Dugio the dude? Okay, you got it, buddy. Charlie, how you doing? Thank you, I know you got- oh, that's okay, it's Saturday, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Charlie, I'll get you in here next, you're gonna be one of these guys. Killer on the run's a little too expensive, though. 420 gold out of our 750 that's left. I think I have to go a little lower than that. We've got a cripple, a fisherman, a caravan hand, a tailor, a grave robber. Why is that- oh, because he's got the helmet, he's got- it starts with a nice helmet. I think I'm gonna go with fisherman here. And the killer on the run. Now, I know Charlie can't stick around. He's literally on the run. So that's going to be Charlie. He's superstitious. Of course he is. Resolve at morale checks. Minus 10 resolve when he checks against morale from fear, panic, or mind control. Great. And the fisherman has iron lungs. Deece. Okay, so Charlie. Ooh, just barely. The lurker. And, uh, anybody else in here? Not yet. So we'll leave this guy as Winrik. Their stats, meanwhile, Charlie's got some good stats here. Fatigue, uh, melee attack, and morale is high. That morale, uh, two star is probably gonna be useful when we... Um... Are, are panicking from superstition, right? Um, so how do I do this? Let me see. This guy can have this. He gets the hat. And maybe I give Charlie this. Oh, we have another hat here. What am I saying? I want to get at least five men, but boy, I'm really low on money now. So you know what? I am going to have to sell at least one of these resources. Maybe like the amber or... Yeah, let's sell the amber and this. Okay, we'll keep the more expensive stuff. We go back up to seven hundo. Let's hire a couple more bros. At least one more. Maybe five bros I can I can do the first couple of missions with. Ike. Radolf. I'm gonna hire the cripple. Can be our distraction, bro. And Ike. Okay, that gives us six brothers. The cripple's got good defense, morale. Ooh, fearless. Pretty good. And this guy's a pessimist. This guy also sucks. God, both of them are terrible. Okay. Um. Okay. And then I just need to buy uh, some gear for this last brother here. Uh, everything's kind of expensive. Give him a pitchfork, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Boy, no shields. I'm gonna buy a net here as well. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I can give maybe him the net. Okay, now let's do some jobs. So, Bjarn of Konigsmund. I'm going to be getting to know this guy fairly well. Thieves stole the golden talisman. What is it worth to you? 60 plus 230? I accept. I accept. I could read all the things every time. I don't know. Maybe I should, but... Uh... Uh, I could have looked at the other job, too. I should have done that, but that's okay. Let's just do this quick. We'll do the next one after. So, follow the tracks southeast. There they are. They look human. Which is good. Don't like fighting against terrifying monsters this early on. Ah, there they are. Let's hit them. Bam. Okay, see if we can get- Oh, we gotta change your name, Dugio, too. I almost forgot. 
Uh, there's seven of them, six of us. Maybe I fall back here? Kind of like that. This guy can try and lead some of them away. Oh, is he... Hold on, I only moved three spaces there. What's going on here? 16 fatigue. That was weird. He doesn't have some penalty to his action, does he? Action points? It's almost what that looked like. Okay. They're going after the easy pickings there. Good. We get to split them up a little bit. Uh, I think we're just waiting with all those guys. This guy can run here. Yeah, he's moving at full full speed there. Okay, let them... Oh, wow. Didn't think that guy was going to get that close. Okay. Man, this is blocking sight, which means I can't hit over the top of this bush, which is unfortunate. I think I'm still holding there. In they come. Okay. Uh, let's net that guy. Good hit. Uh, this guy can come up, right? Nice stun. There it is. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That was very risky. Nice. Putting him down. That was really risky, pulling back like that, but... Uh, okay, let's wait. Here we go. Oh, missing. Okay, he can step off now, I think. Let that other guy get a swing in there. Yeah, this guy steps in. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's uh, finish these guys. Whiffing on the guy in the net. Damn it. Ooh, ooh. One hit there. Not the end of the world. Am I really going to step in there? I think I'm going to go like this. There it is. Good. That guy takes a morale hit. Oh, I went for the stun and I missed. Okay, this guy gets his turn. Ah, oh, yep. That's what you get for missing. Okay, 66, 66. Hit this guy. The guy's trying to rip his net off. Ooh, big damage on that guy. Hitting that guy's head. Uh, both these guys still have to go. Oh, come on, he's almost dead. Ooh, shit. Finally. Okay, that guy's breaking. Good. Uh, let's finish these last three, and we should be A-OK. -okay. Get back up here. Uh, wait. Oh, we missed that guy? Come on. Oh, shit. Well, that guy might die. Am I really gonna go up there? No. Uh, should I attack? Oh, I shouldn't have moved this guy here. That was so dumb. I could have just moved next to this guy. That was really dumb. I should get the attack here, shouldn't I? I should get a free, free attack if I can, right? Yeah, this guy should have... Shit. Okay, let's just wait there. Oh, he recovers! Wow. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's what you get for coming back. Ooh, that guy runs. Oh, I shouldn't have stepped in. This guy's gonna do a huge swing. Oh, not if I kill him first. Nice. Uh, we're not gonna have the initiative on this guy, are we? No, he's gonna get away. Nice, okay, so we lost Weinrich. Not the end of the world. Some helmets and stuff, good. Uh, who died? I'm not sure. Weinrich died, but ooh, the battle over, you pick up the golden talisman and look it over. Was this really worth the lives of so many people? I know what you're thinking, Cellsword. The voice, voice breaks in, you draw your sword and aim it at a stranger who has seemingly appeared from nowhere. You're thinking, what if someone paid good money to steal that their artifact? What if that someone would pay me a good deal of money? Perhaps more than the man who paid you to retrieve it in the first place? You lower your weapon and nod. An interesting thought. The man smiles. 540 crowns. 
So that's a lot of crowns. I don't think we need it though. We're paid to return it and that's what we'll do. I want my relationship to be good with this city. That is worth far more than the extra crowns right now. Plus I'll, I'll have no problem making crowns once I start trading goods between cities and stuff. Okay. So let's look at the crew again. The Distraction Bros survive. Uh, Charlie's still here. Dugio, Damien. Yeah, we, we need to get some better armor for our dudes here. Dear God. Uh, okay, so you have that. This is a 50. Uh, you can have that. You can have that. This guy can have the net. Okay, so we need to get some better gear, obviously. Let's grab this last job. It's a caravan job to Kadim. Okay. Sure, a day to the south. A southern city that close, only a day to the south. That's pretty good. We'll get another brother here, too, but let's get... Do we have better armor? We just don't have good armor here. It's wild. That one, I guess. Buy a beat-up old shield here. There, something like that. That's still not amazing. Not amazing armor. Let's... Oh, God. And there's nobody else to hire? Oh, boy. Uh, maybe you have to stay close. Give this guy a mace. This is better. 30 than 20? Yeah. Uh, ouch. Okay, let's go to the market. We're going to sell some of this crap. I'm probably not going to use. And this is garbage. Um, everybody has a knife. We'll give Charlie a knife. Okay. I'm actually going to sell this axe too. I don't need that axe. Only eight tools. Right now we're paying 35 a day. I do need a stack of tools, that means. Okay, we won't have to worry about food, but let's head out on this caravan job and hopefully we don't die. Texas, you're in here. The legendary backpack? No. <laughs> do you know what what are you talking what what are you talking about? Oh, is this another city? A large city thriving on trade and fine arts. Perfect. Yeah, oh, this place has dyes. So if I can buy dyes here and sell them at our original town, I should be making pretty good money. Ooh, that's a nice uh, set of armor. Wow, I wish I would have saved my money. <sighs> okay, uh, our ambition. Set out into the wilderness, plunder something, need allies, forge a bond of friendship. I'm going to go with forge a bond of friendship. And the trading is another one that obviously is going to be really good for us, but I'd rather have a, a town allied with us. Oh. Here we go. How many? Six? We can take six nomads with uh, the help of these caravan hands, I think. Yeah, we, we number 11 now. Let's back it up, though. No need to risk our men over the caravan hands. No need at all. Oh. Okay. Put up the spear wall there. They only have one guy with a shield, so it's going to be tough for them to get through. The caravan hands keep pushing closer and closer. I don't know why. Yeah, that guy's an idiot. Oof, and then he gets stunned. Um, Wait. Wait. I want to get this guy up here as well, and that'll give us maximum chance to hit. Ooh, the battle is joined. Wait. This guy is so slow. Master, how you doing? Benny Hillbeam? Yeah. That's what it feels like sometimes in this game. You should have seen our last run. It was exactly like that. Oof. Big damage. And then my back rank dudes should be able to kill them here. Uh, I'm gonna go up. One more. Okay. How you doing? Doing well? Good. Hopefully the weekend uh, started off strong. I'm starting off with little Battle Bros today. I love this game, but we're recording right now for YouTube. Uh, you guys should be able to see this on the, the YouTube channel. Our last run, we uh, sadly had an awesome caravan hand start. I'm doing random origins right now on EE, EEM. But um, we had a great start, and then uh, just rough. One unlucky battle, boom, that was it. As is tradition. 
Okay, 72 to hit here, 62, 61 is obviously, let's go for the 70. Whoa, a little bit of frame rate drop or whatever there, that's kind of weird. Okay, wow, can't finish, really? Oh my god. Oh my god, really? 61. There we go. Okay, so now this guy at least can run without dying. I don't really give a shit, it's a caravan hand, but oh, I can't get in there, can I? Okay, wait. Oh my god, Dugio taking hits. Oof. Radolf's in trouble. Dugio fighting back. Oh no. Radolf's in deep shit. That's the guy we just bought? Uh... Yeah, this was like a distraction, bro. The cripple guy. Okay, so... I don't care if he dies, but... Okay, back it up. Oh, nice dodging, Radolf. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, Radolf down. Stop, brother. Uh, this guy's gonna get away. We're not gonna be able to catch him, I think. It's over. He's gonna act first. Oh, Radolf survives. The collapsed lung, but this, this cripple's made of tough stuff. <laughs> Have a nice Italian coffee. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm having... Pretty bad Canadian drip coffee here. Dr. Berg, did how you doing? The brothers must battle to survive. That's what they're doing, Perrington. This is this is a brutal world. We're all just trying to make it. Okay, we're all out in these streets. Trying to make a little paper. In this case, it's gold. It's not paper, it's actually metal, but you know, same thing. Trying to survive, trying to trying to maybe carve out a a an annal in history or uh, <laughs> to, to carve out a little one line in history about our company ouch another six nomads coming at us that's not good Radolf's a wreck nose broken bruised leg and a partially collapsed lung he's just like oh god more of them Dugio the dude um eesh 95. Nobody's helmet is too damaged, so I don't need to replace this. Uh, we're gonna give him this. Oh boy. It's gonna be tough. We've got some level ups here, which is nice too. Uh, maybe I should just give him HP. Yeah, this guy kind of sucks. We'll just give him HP. I don't, I don't invest. Oh my god. Terrible rolls as well. Brutal. I don't invest in the student perk unless it's a brother I'm I'm actually gonna try and run make or make a deep run with, you know? God shit rolls again here. Okay, Damien the streamer leveling up. Let's give him the student. Okay, and then a two on fatigue. Whatever, I'm still going with it. Okay, here we go. Hit by another troop of bandits. This road is dangerous. God damn. <laughs> but I know, brother. If, if only there was a better way, Doctor Perrington. But these, this, the, in this time period, people were complete idiots. They were all getting their news from Facebook. It was bad. Um, get yourself an espresso machine. I know, dude. I know. God, uh, it pays for it. Pay, like doesn't pay for itself because I don't go to Starbucks every day or anything. But. It would be way better coffee, and I'm a big coffee guy, and I love espresso. I don't drink milk or cream or sugar or anything in my coffee. I want black-ass coffee. And, um... So I should, have, I should have bought an espresso machine a long time ago, probably. 30 bucks? Really? I, every time I look, they're like at least 100 and something bucks, and the nice ones are like 300, 500, whatever. Um, I'm sure you could get some used ones nice. I, I should look on, like, I don't know, Craigslist or something for, for one. Oh, oh! his partially collapsed lung? I can't even do a spear wall here. Deadly. Okay. Dugio, he's got a bruised le- Pierced leg muscles. Melee defense is down. But he's still gonna jam his spear in the ground and go, Fight me! See if they come. <laughs> See if they come in here. Okay, so this is 4 AP to- Like, look at this. I hate when it does this. It kind of like, there we go. All this stuff disappears randomly. So I can throw a net on one of these guys, slow him down. That costs four, and then it's four to attack. So I won't be able to move and do all that. I can move and do one action here. 
I probably should just attack this guy, right? Like, this spear wall technically has this flank protected, hopefully. Plus, that'll allow both of these guys to swing. There we go. So, we might be able to... Oh, yeah, the caravan hand's all this. Might be able to kill this guy. The caravan hand immediately flees after taking one hit. He's gravely wounded, so that tracks. Okay. Oh, boy. That's... Oh, good hit, Radolf. Oof, missing again here. Okay, let's try and protect the flanks. Oh, just right through my spear wall, you filthy... These desert bandits, they're very agile. Lungs are the, like kidneys, you really only need one. There you go. Mine is the on Amazon. Oh, shit. Oh, 30 pounds, so about 36 US bow. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I should look. I There's... I'm thinking of, like, restaurant-grade ones, but there's probably, like, yeah, budget ones that are still... Like, it's espresso. Like, as long as you get good espresso, uh, the, 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 group, the coffee beans and grind them up and stuff yourself. The machine, it, it hardly matters, right? Probably, I would imagine. I, I'm not a, a big, super big coffee snob. I just know when I'm drink. I know what I like. I know what when I'm drinking good coffee and uh, when I'm not drinking good coffee. Okay, caravan hand taking some damage. Okay, they're hitting the donkeys. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Good hit there. Oh, Radolf. Might be able to save this guy? I thought he was a goner. Damn it. Um, if I, I want the... Uh, I want the swordsman to come here, right? Kind of a waste. Using a lot of fatigue to do that, but... Okay. Oh, and that guy takes off. He knows it's over. Yes. Rattles like you fuckers, get back here! Yeah, they're not gonna. We're not gonna catch that guy. Okay, we survived getting hit again. Solid. Ooh, picking up an Adarga shield. Those are very good. And the Southern Mace, the Nomad Mace, just a straight up better mace than the Northern style mace for the Emperor for managed democracy. Wait, no, that's ne never mind. That's a different, not not the same game. Okay, I'm gonna give uh, somebody else this. We'll give him the mace again. I really need better armor. Radolf levels up, but he's he's already got a partially collapsed lung. Let's give him nine lives. We're gonna turn this guy into a golem. Uh, plus three on defense. Morale and initiative. I want him to be uh, probably just our distraction bro here. Okay, Dugio leveling up. Gonna give Dugio the uh, student perk so that he gets more XP. Good rolls there. Three, three, and four. Solid. But get him an additional 20% XP, so he should level up quickly. All right, can we just get to the goddamn southern city without anything else happening? Please, please, please. It's nighttime, it's nighttime. This is far. And we're there. Okay, they're well supplied. Great. Because I need to buy some shit. Okay, so now let's sell. Getting 511, that's still not amazing here. Some of this stuff we can ditch. Uh, 22 tools. Okay, I definitely need some better armor. That's great armor. Mm. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to grab here. So, we can give one of these guys this, this, and then one of the back rank dudes. That's a 50 helmet as well. Okay, so I just need a little bit. It's the armor I'm lacking, really. Let's hire a couple brothers here. So we've got uh, some shepherds. Not a big fan. We also don't have a ton of money here. That's a cheap shepherd. This guy's a historian. Some nomads. Let's take Malik. The ailing? Oh, God. Oh, I thought it said texting while something. And I'm like, texting? <laughs> <laughs> Textiling while tending. He led every last sheep over a cliff. Textiling while tending? Okay, so that is a joke about, like, texting while driving or something? That's so funny. He doesn't carry the murderous conviction of other sellswords, but like any man, he can be trained up in all the right ways. Should I take him? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire this guy. Oh, where is he? Malik. Get in here, buddy. Uh, Dr. Purrington, we're gonna get you in here as well. Malik, triple, wow, triple fatigue, triple range defense, otherwise not super impressive. 20 and a 30 head wrap. Give him this. 
thrust this spear in his hands. Give him a better helmet. And there, now you're looking like a, a northern fighting man. He's like, these clothes are so strange. Just give me back my robes. No. No, they're too cold for where we're going. You're going to need something, something better. I really need some better armor for everybody. It's kind of rough, but what is this job? Sa Sahir Ibn Hamdin, one of the vizier, oh, the master astrologer. Ah, a crownling. I'd almost forgotten I had requested your sword to come ruin my day. You stare at the vizier as he is far too belabored to ex extricate himself from a sea of cushions and the harem of women who are there to fluff each and every one. <laughs> well, I suppose I shall sully an hour, if only to get this matter settled. Nomads are ravaging my caravans, as they are wont to do, and hereat my markets are deprived of certain goods which I wish to have. I offer 510 crowns to find and destroy these sand-ridden mites. Okay, let's talk about payment. He smiles. This will make you a rich man, my friend. It's 510 crowns when the contract is done. Sure, I'm not going to negotiate here. Okay, drive off the nomads. What's this? Restoration of normative statuses, da 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 Okay. What is he asking me to do? They stand no chance. 570. I accept? Oh, beat down the uprising. Okay, let me think about that. That's a level 2 job. So, I guess I'm going to take the level 1. And I have 6 men who are not in great shape here. Should I sell my goods to buy some better armor? There's not even really any better armor here. There's this 60 armor. I guess I could grab that. Okay, let's give uh, front rank dude that. And I could buy another shield. Give him something else to hold on to there. Oh, not you. No, 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 no. Actually, we can keep this guy in here for now, too. I don't know, is a distraction bro worth it? Maybe, I don't, I don't even know if that's worth it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him out here. Oh, that partially collapsed lung. He's not going to be able to run very far here. I don't want to give him a nice uh, helmet. Screw that. Uh... Oh, this guy doesn't even... This guy's a 40? I'm a 45 there. Actually, he should have a 50. You get a 45. There. There you go. You're the distraction. Uh, I could give one of these guys a net. Maybe I should? Dugio? Still got those pierced leg muscles? Ugh, his melee defense is really low, actually. I, I shouldn't give him a net. Um... Could be one of these guys. Hmm. I don't want to give it to him because I feel like he's going to die. <laughs> um. Again, could sell some goods here to buy some stuff, but there's nothing else I really want. Except maybe another brother. If I had a little bit more money, I could buy this historian, but he's looking pretty bad. I have 15 gold. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I think I have to sell some of these goods. Let's sell the dyes. And then we'll... Uh, oops, I keep clicking the, uh, the inventory thing. I want to go back here, get some men. Let's pick up the historian. See what he looks like. Terrible, as expected. He's a team player. It doesn't inflict friendly fire as often. And determined. Always confident. Okay, he's gonna be, uh, he's determined to die, is what he is. Uh, let's give him the 30 here, we can give him this, and a mace. Give this guy a better mace, give this guy the trashy mace. Okay! And that's the crew. Now let's go get these bandits. Uh, there they are. Smoltron cooking? Nice. Yeah, let me know. Just as soon as you're ready, we can switch to it. Warhammer 40k was showing. Why would they hit donkeys? That That's, yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. But if they kill the donkeys, then we can't run off with the caravan. Oh, these hyenas are in a fight. 
Who are they fighting? They're fighting nomads. Let's see if we can jump in here. Oh, oh boy. Okay, well, now there's eight nomads. Okay, well, hold up, hold up. They, they just slaughtered some donkeys. Cutthroats, an outlaw, and a slinger. That's not good. That's not good. Gonna try and go around them here. This way. Oh, that's close. Okay. Okay, now we're close. Can we get a scouting report? No scouting report. Let's hit him! Uh, shredded tents, baskets unwoven, clothes rolling across the sands. And in the middle of it all sits a man in a black coat. No. His ghastly face peering from its hooded shade. You are both late and right on time. He says and gets to his feet. The tarps rustle, the baskets tilt, and the clothes jerk aside, the land riffling with liveliness. Suddenly the sand slips into cavernous channels and inimical nomads empty from the earth climbing out, some leaping forth as though to revivify themselves on fresh air, others tilting upward from heel to toe, bodies straight like flagpoles. They move unnervingly, stilted and tilted, and the man in black grins behind their shambling formation. He's no ordinary blaggard, but a necromancer. Okay, so this is a good question. If this is a necromancer with a bunch of zombies, and then those brigands join the fight, they're gonna they're not gonna be on the side of the necromancer, right? I'm pretty sure. Are they like if I have these two factions, like what I can do right now is fall back and then let those nomads get a little closer, then if I engage again, they're gonna get pulled into the fight. But are they gonna be fighting Will that mean there's three factions? Me, the Nomads, and the Necromancer and the Undead? Or are the Nomads going to be fighting for the Necromancer? I'm not even sure. Um, I could, I could find out. I think I'm just going to engage the Necromancer. Wow. That guy is very nicely armored. Holy shit. There's only four of them? Huh. This is interesting. Wow, that guy's got a boar, a boar spear, 125 helmet, and I, I think his armor is over 100 as well. Um. Uh, oh boy, he's possessed. That's not good. Oh man, there's only four of them, but they are looking tough. I've got to get to that necromancer. Should Damien run? Oh, shit. No. No, we gotta hold here. We're not gonna survive by splitting up. These guys are gonna be too tough for me, I think. We'll see. Oh, good. Yes, I can take one at a time. Good spear wall there, dude. Holding him back. This guy's out of movement here. Okay. Possess possession is huge, right? That possessed that the guy keeps, the necromancer keeps casting on this guy gives him essentially an extra action. He gets to, gets to attack a bunch or move a bunch. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Damien starts sprinting across the sand directly toward the necromancer. This guy's gonna go in two turns. Oh shit. Okay, you know what? I've got to wait here. Oh, is this guy going to engage Damien, maybe, I wonder? That's going to be interesting. Oh, he does. Ah, ah. Okay. Oh, I want those guys to go up. Go and go north. Okay, jump on him. Yes. Oh, one of them comes down. Okay, get in there, guys. Get in there, please, these back rankers. Uh... Oh, he's out of fatigue! Radolf's collapsed lung catching up with him there. He's in trouble. Okay. I would love to preserve this guy's armor. I wonder, can I take him with a dagger? This is crazy, but... Nice, good hit there. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have a dagger. Yeah, his armor's just gonna absorb so much. Ooh, that zombie didn't catch me. Ah, Damien's in trouble. Oh, 
Oh, the possession. Oh, that's bad. Oh, and the miss. Oh, Damien's gonna die. Ah, Damien goes down. Run. He's, he's out of fatigue. He's done. God damn it. Ooh, nice dodging. The new guy. Okay, that zombie's almost dead. Kill him. Okay, he is gonna be getting back up. Oh, that possession is so nasty. It's too many attacks. Okay, that guy gets up. Oh, that guy's so close to dying. No. No. Kill him. Oh, his armor's toast. Hit him. No, on the head. And there. Uh, we're, we're almost certainly dead now. I'm exhausted. Okay, Necromancer's punching me. My own guy gets back up. That's Damien's corpse. Now is fighting against us. Oh my god. The Necromancer throwing fists. Okay. Hit him. There. Hitting that Necromancer, good. He's no match for an armed warrior, but... Oh. Oh my god, devastating battle, no! Is that Dugio? No, there's Damien, the streamer. This is our other dude. Oh, that's really bad. Oops, I should have attacked uh, that guy, actually. God damn it. Kill him! Okay, nice. No. Oh, now he's fleeing? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, Dugio immediately starts fleeing, and there. Now that he's not attacking, or not being attacked, the Necromancer's raising them again. I'm not gonna be able to beat this. Crazy. Wounded. This guy's near death, come on. He tries to run. No. Oh, there's the other Distraction Bros a zombie now too. He's joined the fight. Oh, that's gonna be it. Oh no. Man, the Necromancer, only four dudes. There were only three enemies, but as soon as I saw the first one, I was like, oh yeah, they're heavily armored here. Just not quite good enough. Yeah, the Necromancer, now he's got a bigger army than he started with. Holy shit. GG, we get destroyed. Uh, unfortunate. I, maybe I'm really bad at this game. Uh, I don't know, but unfortunate. <laughs> um... We've only been going about 45 minutes. I, I, I gotta keep, uh, I wanna do one more at least here. So let's try this again. So this is gonna be random origin. Could be any of these origins. There's lots of interesting ones here. Uh, the DF-16 squad, random late game crisis. The crow is cursed. That's what it is. Let's do boobs. Who doesn't love boobs? Everybody loves boobs. Uh, expert Iron Man, unexplored, medium funds, and let's jump in. Let's get a good one. Good god. Destroyed by a necromancer. It's one of those things, you, you go there expecting, you know, regular bandits, and then, oh, it's a necromancer. How good are these zombies? Are they, they could just be basic, you know, zombies with no weapons. They could be armored with a bunch, you know, those guys were. The Beast Slayers again, okay. This random thing, it's the same, like, four origins over and over and over. You met the man in his home. He offered food, drink, and the contracted hand. Kill the Witch of the Forest, and you'll be paid in sum. You and your men set out and did just that, bringing back the wench's head. But your employer only laughed upon your return. He said it was the witch who put him in power, and that you had freed him of his debts to her, and that he outsmarted you and your stupid men. His lackeys stepped out of the shadows, their swords already drawn. The ambush started upon the criminal's arrogance and ended with his head cleared from his shoulders. But it came at the cost of many of your fellow beast slayers, leaving only yourself, Landrich, Leberecht, and Meinolf remaining. Four of us. Monsters of this world are often kept out of sight. The cruelties of man hide behind the blind, blind allegiance. The horrors of beasts behind dark legends. As the leader of a band of beast slayers, it has become steadily more apparent that you can no longer differentiate between the two. If you're to make coin hunting creatures, then you might as well add more to the pot by adding man to the ledger. The most wicked beast is the one that thinks itself more. So, beast slayers. Beast slayers uh, are you and your men make your living by hunting down the many beasts that beset villages on the fringes of civilization. Uh, it's dangerous work, but it pays well enough, and there's always a bigger beast to slay and more crowns to earn. So, beast slayers start with three beast slayers and decent equipment, as well as some beast trophies. 
Uh, we see tracks from further away, which is good. Each beast you slay has a 50% chance to drop an additional trophy, which is really good. That's the best part of it. And then the last one is bad, prejudice. Most people don't trust your kind, so you get 10% worse prices. That can be really punishing, especially in the early game. So, okay, so here we are at uh, the beast slayers. So yeah, the prices thing is, is a problem. Now, we start with some good dudes. These guys are going to be experienced fighters. Um, there's, uh, Dr. Oh, I'll just put Dr. Purrington. Dr. Purrington, if you want a title, let me know. He's going to be our archer. Dugio and Smoltron. Oh, and Master System. Let's put Master in here. Uh... Oh, wow, I fit the whole thing. Master System Man is going to be our, our main dude there, and we can put... This will be Smoltron. Uh, Smoltron, the father. <laughs> Smoltron has a death wish. A death... They all... Wow, half of them have death wishes. Now, we just got in a fight, so Purrington with a fractured rib still. Purrington, you have a dog! Bull! Bull the war dog. Awesome. Okay, starting with a boar spear. We get to level up right away, which is great. Uh, Master System gets an extra level here. Master, just tell me what you uh, want your title to be. George, how you doing, buddy? The 28 months! I have a smooth brain, no ridges or lumps. <laughs> I have a smooth brain. No ridges or lumps. No valleys or bumps. All thoughts just slide right off. S M O O O T T T H H H. Thank you, buddy. George with the 28 months, you're a legend! Thank you, George, you're amazing. Sir Retro, okay, I got it. Hold on. Uh, so Purrington, so we, we leveled him up. He's the ranged guy here, so we're gonna give him, obviously, ranged attack. Fatigue, and maybe ranged defense, sure. And then, uh, Smoltron the Father... Yeah... Hmm. With only one star... Uh, I don't know if I should give him student here, but, wow. Okay. Okay, well, we need to hire some more bros. Uh, Master wants the... Uh, no dog fighting, Dugio, I know, that turned my stomach. Okay, thank you, buddy. George, have a great weekend, man. I hope you're doing, uh, doing great this weekend and have, a, have an awesome one. Um, Master System Man, Sir Retro. Is there a comma? There. So when it appears in the in the in the the dialogues, it'll be yeah. Yeah, company the betrayal. So we all start with really bad morale here and some injuries. Let's get back to this village where they we were ambushed by these idiots. I guess it must have been somebody from this village. A level 2 job, that's it. Okay. We start off with 1500 bucks, which is not bad. A lumberjack? That guy's expensive. Could pick up a butcher here. Another lumberjack. Cheaper. These guys are expensive daily wages. Damn. Yeah, I guess they're going to be tougher on average. But I'm going to go with the cheaper butcher here. Nothing impressive. Disloyal. If I ever run out of crowns or food. Douchebag. Um, okay, what do we have in the market? Cheap lumber. Mm, this guy's got a meat cleaver. I should probably give him something better. And I could use a shield here. I'm gonna pick up at least one shield. Mm, could get him a spear, but oh my god, everything is very expensive, isn't it? Shit. Okay, we'll buy him a hat, or buy one of our dudes a hat, anyway. This guy can carry the net. Okay. Our tiny little troop here. What's the work? Caravan job. Oh boy. Two days? I can't I can't do that kind of job. Not Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to accept. Uh Well, maybe we won't die. Maybe it'll be an easy caravan job. Two days? I think we're dead. Yep. That's it. We're dead. So, I think I'm gonna flee. And that means the, uh... 
You stumble around the remains of the wagon. It isn't hard to see the merchant's head has been stoved in by some kind of chest, perhaps the very thing behind which he sought protection during the heat of battle. Alas, none of the caravan is in better shape. The battle had proved vicious, even by your standards, and the resulting carnage has a few of your brothers heaving. If the nightmares come, then let them come. You deserve little else for your failure. Failure. Darn it! Okay, get the hell away from those guys. So now my relationship is cold with this town. I'm over it. Uh, is this another town? There's always another town. Eichholz. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what kind of job they have. Another caravan job. They didn't hear about our last caravan job. Okay. I accept the offer, but two days to the northeast. Let me think about that. I, I can't take that. Let's go south. Uh, we have lots of money. Oh, the road's over here. Okay. Uh, hunting wild beasts? We are beast hunters. I need forging an, forging an alliance with a town is probably better here. Because our, okay, there we go. Weissenmark, a large city. Yes. That's going to be a good place to base our operations from. Lots of work here, which is nice. Caravan job to Weissenstadt. Uh, I accept, but I don't want to do that now. Um, a delivery job. Okay, I like that. That's easy. 130. I accept, but let me think about that. I want to do a fighting job first. Yeah, follow the tracks. Okay, let's do that one first. Then we'll do the delivery. So, we've got four brothers. A lot of brothers here. Day taulers aren't bad. Caravan hen, not bad too. This guy at least comes with an axe. Beggar. Oh, he's a refugee, okay. Let's get Kurt in here. And we'll get the refugee as well. Okay. Oh, not bad starting stats. 55 melee on both of them. No great proficiencies here on, on anything, but that's fine. This guy at least starts with something. Uh, the refugee is going to have to be outfitted. Okay, six men. Let's get whoa with 700 bucks. Yeah, I don't need one more. I'm going to I'm going to spend the rest of our money at the market here, I think. So let's go to the market and we will try and find some gear. I guess I'm going to take that. God, that's rough. Okay, leaving us with 279. So, D2. Let's give this guy the better armor. And I could give. Hmm. Make another back rank guy? Is that crazy? I, I could not use a distraction bro here. I, I do like having at least one bro off to the side just to pull enemies away. So maybe I'll sell this stuff and... Uh... Just didn't see that helmet there. That's a great helmet. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I am going to keep that guy over there. And I, I can handle it like this. This is fine. This guy's uh, weapon, the Spetum, also lets me do spear wall. So, he's almost like a spear wielder. He's not only a back rank dude. Oh, those fractured ribs, though. Dr. McCurrington, max fatigue, minus 30. I really do want to get those taken care of. A hundred gold, though? I think you're going to have to power through it, buddy. You know what I am going to do, though? Have a drink. Because I need to get my morale up here. My, my uh, beast slayers are not in a great mood. And there they are. Hit him in the swamp? Swamp can be tricky. I think we can we can take him. A little six on seven, huh? Oh no. Except they're starting on the actual ground and we're not. That's really bad. Okay. I need to get out of this water right now. 
and then force these guys to push me uh, and, and wade through this little narrow channel here. If they can do that, then, um, it, or if I can get them to do that, I should say, then we're in good shape. Uh, ugh, this is close. Yeah, I should just move instead of firing an arrow or something, right? Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, that guy's bleeding a ton. Two stacks of bleed. Okay. That's not gonna let my guy... Yeah, it's not gonna let my guy get in there, though, is it? Uh... I can't do the aim shot? 20 fatigue, Dr. Purrington. The fractured ribs. He can't take a proper shot here. It's gonna have to be a quick shot. 28, 36. Let's shoot for this guy. Oh, the miss. Okay, we've got 62 to hit, 62 to hit, 62 to hit. I really need to free this guy up. Oh, nice. That pierced his hand. That's huge. Pierced hand injury re reduces their melee attack, right? Oh. Can't move. Yeah, they just keep coming. Okay, let's put a spear wall up here. That's probably better. Ooh, that guy gets pushed. Oh boy. Stun him. Yes, nice stun, Friso. Okay. Dr. Purrington could release Bull. Do it. And then fire a quick shot. Nice! Oh no! But that means the dog's gonna go in the water now! Shit, what? No! Still getting a hit though. Ooh, nice hit there. Okay, I need to... Oh, if I move into water, it takes four AP. I won't be able to take a swing here. So I think I'm definitely going to try and help the dog. Nice. Come on. Oh, no. Tolbjorn. Oh, nice dodging there. Mm. Oh, and this guy's fleeing. The morale. Nice. The dog. Oh, no, bull. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Oh, Purrington. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, that guy tries to get away. That guy tries to get away. No such luck. Bam. Nice one, Purrington. Okay. Hit him. Oh, no. Oh, landing a hit there. Hit him. Stun him. Yes. And he's done. Okay. We do it! No serious injury? Actually, we got one cut artery here. That's not amazing on Friso there. But not bad. The dog went down. That's okay. We're gonna buy another dog. We're gonna get another dog. There's a lot of shelters. That was that was dumb. I shouldn't have released the dog there. I, I released the dog thinking it was gonna stay on the land, but then when it, as soon as it goes in the water, it suffers a huge penalty to defense. Melee defense, melee attack. Everybody does when they're waist deep in water, right? So that was dumb of me. No level ups here. Uh, some great armor, though. I will definitely take that. And then this guy can have this. And we've got Smoltron the Father here. He should actually be one of my front-ranked dudes, really. Um, these will be my front-rankers. This guy can be a back-ranker, maybe. Okay. This guy's got a knife. Smoltron's got a knife. The archer does not have a knife. Archer probably needs a knife. Um. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay. I need to find another uh, a dude to fill out the front ranks here. 230 gold, not bad. Uh, the next one was a delivery job that I want to do. Yeah, let's deliver the cargo. And for a delivery job, like right now, I do need more men, but because this isn't a job where I need to actually fight anybody, I should just... Uh... Yeah, let's heal those ribs. The cut artery on the distraction, bro. I'm going to let that heal naturally. All right, let's go back to New Farn here. They don't love us at New Farn. Yeah, I shouldn't have let that dog out. That was dumb. That was really dumb. But... Uh... Alright, I wanted to play about an hour-long session here, so we're going to stop in a little bit, switch up the game. Okay, uh, I guess I can take a look at the work here. 
Oh, find something? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna need some food for this probably. Fortunately, ah, oh god, because we're the beast hunters, the prices are still aren't amazing here, but I will buy something. Where is it? Southwest around the region of two fields. Well, we are at two fields here. Southwest, you say. Somewhere over here. I should get up on the mountain, actually. It'll give me a good view of no. Well, I'd also like it to be daytime. Holy shit! Ten undead and a necromancer. Wow. Uh, run, 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 run. Orc hunters. Oh my god. No, no! Oh, is that it? That's not the place we're looking for? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh no, that's bad. They caught us. Run! Run, damn you! Oh, they're not going... Go straight off the, the field away from them. Don't go north or south. Okay, I think we got away, but I, there's two camps here, but neither of the, the, the those camps are the ones I'm looking for. Like, that, that doesn't complete my mission, really? Yeah, we are undergunned in that fight, I think. It's not around here, huh? They're chasing us. Through the mountain. A group of world-weary explorers they seize up in the middle of the road, half covered in mud and half in leaves and all in unintentional camouflage. One rubs his forehead, eyeing you carefully before a smile widens. I know a searcher when I see one. You're looking for the abode of the night, ain't ya? Well, you're in luck. We was just coming from there. Here, give me your map. I'll show you where it is. You're on the plains not far to the west of where we are now. So over here somewhere. Okay. Thanks, buddies. Should I drag these uh, undead into this orc? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. This is going to be great. Hey, guys, over here. Oh, and those orc hunters are coming down? This is going to be awesome. Okay, this is going to be one last fight. Uh, there we go. Okay, everybody's in. Let's see how these orcs and undead like each other. Oh, boy. 24 enemies here. Let's see if we can just hold this. Oh, man. We just we should just run. Shit. Where are the undead? They're, they're so slow. Oh, no. This is going to be tough. I think I'm dead, actually. Oh, there's so many orcs. Come on, the zombies are too slow. That's the problem. Uh, Purrington fires. Lands a, lands a hit on one of them. Oh, he charges in. Okay, hit him. Nice. Nice. Oh, missing. Come on. Yeah, they are going to overwhelm me before the undead can get here. I should have run. I should have run. I should have gone in with just one bro. It's easy to avoid all of them with one brother. It's not easy to avoid them with the whole company. Oh my god. Run. Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Okay. They're having to pull off and engage the orcs, but we're surrounded. Oh no, that guy's not going to go down, really. So this guy, this guy, this guy's gonna go next. I can't reach him. This guy, that guy. Too close, 53. We've got 52 because he's got a shield. I should just go for this guy. 69% and I missed. Oh. Okay, they're getting pulled back. Oh yes, good blocks. Okay. The problem is, oh god, smashing his shield out of his hands. The problem is the, um... The orcs are going to turn into zombies. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, Dr. Purrington misses twice. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, good dodging. Oh, no more shield. Now he's just getting his head beat in. Okay, that guy's fleeing. That helps. Shit. Ooh. Okay, causing a little morale break on that guy. Oh, he goes down. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, a fitting end. I should have just walked in with one of my guys instead of uh, all of them into that, you know, whenever you do a fight like this where you're trying to get the two factions to, to beat each other up, basically. Um, you really should just enter the fight with one dude. Getting a whole troop to stay alive while the enemies fight is, is crazy, right? I, I want them to die, so I'm charging in. Wow. The orcs are slaughtering those zombies, it looks like, too. Uh... Do I not have arrows? I'm engaged in- oh, there's a melee, there's a dude right next to me, what am I saying? Ooh, nice. Oof, so much battle happening up there. Yeah, I think those, uh, oh, nice one. The necromancer is gonna kill... Oh yeah, the zombies are getting up again. These orcs are just raging. Oh no, they're getting dragged back in. Is this, who, who is this, Smoltron? No, Dr. Purrington. Dr. Purrington is still alive. The orc, yeah, orcs are getting hit here. There's some of our brothers. Yeah, I, I don't know who's alive. Nine left. Nine people left here. Uh-oh. I think they're gonna catch me here. Yep. Oh, man. I think the orcs just killed the last of the zombies. I think it's nine orcs left. I don't hear any more fighting. Yeah, they survived. Wow. GG! Okay, we wanted to wrap it up anyway, so we'll stop there, we'll try it again next time. Man, so many caravan hand jobs, but uh, hopefully we get a, a unique origin next time. I will see you there. Peace.